Okay. All right, this is the the mama we told this game, and we have a new deck for you. In case you didn't know, he's a snake. This is uh, the, my Dragolum Dual Golem deck. Um, dual Golem is the buddy. So let's go ahead and hop into it. You can hop. I only side them. Pretty good. Um, That's pretty so we start with four of the buddy, which is Demonic Rock Mech Trooper Dragolum. He's a 5 3 7 pay one gauge. Uh, his static ability, he has move and uh, penetrate. His static is all dual golems on the board get plus one critical. His overkill is during the main phase pay gauge and all uh, all monsters on your field get plus two critical. So his overkill is pretty cheap for what it is. I mean, you just pay one gauge and then everything on your board gets plus two crit. So you have a six crit monster on your board uh, plus whatever else is on the board. Um, I know step with that. Then we get into, we, have, we play three voracious, voracious wolf golem. Um, he's a 6-2-2, two, two, but with the dual golem he'll be a 6-3-2, and then plus the overkill will be a 5 crit. Well, whenever he attacks, um, you have to dis you can destroy a monster in your opponent's field, and at the end of his battle, you have to pay a gauge where he dies. So with the dual golem archetype, they're high, powered, uh, high attack power and high crit monsters. But you have to pay a gauge to keep them on board or they will die, except for the dual golem, golem, of course. Next we have played two Double Rock Mech Trooper Orth Golem. He's a 10,000, 4,000 uh, defense. Put the top card deck into it, so on pay two. When he's destroyed, he destroys all monsters on your opponent's left and right. And then he has penetrating double attack, and of course he has to pay a gauge to stay on board after his attack. Um, this just keeps board control, and he's a high crit of four, maybe six if you overkill and then play him afterwards. Next we play two Glide and Swallow Golems. Um, they're five to one. When it attacks, destroy our size one or less or a spell on your opponent's field. So this is good against like Guardians and Executioners. You can destroy their set spells, or if you need to, uh, destroy size one. Next, we play two Raiding Foul Golem. When he attacks, he's a 3-1-3. Three, three. When he attacks, destroy an item on your opponent's field, and then Peg is keeping alive. He just keeps destroying items that we don't want our opponents to have. And then we play two Ex Explode Golem. Um, when this card attacks, you remove a soul from an opponent's monster. Uh, he's a 4-1-2, size 0. Just another way to keep um, uh, there's, take care of the soul of other monsters. And then we play three of the, one of the good, best cards on the deck, I think, is Chaos Basilisk Golem. It's a 826, pay one gauge, pay one life to call it. Um, double attack and penetrate. And then when this card is destroyed by a card effect, you draw two cards. Um, and at the end of the battle, if you don't pay a gauge, he dies. So he can, you can draw two off of his own effect by just attacking and not paying the gauge. Oh, shit. Hold on, guys. Brief intermission. We drop cards. You're fucking annoying. You're not supposed to use the F word. It's all the way under there. I'm not going to worry about it. Sorry about that. Um, next, we play three Iron Lick Hazel Golem. Um, five, two, two. Uh, when Andrew's field, you can pay it to add a dual goal, um, item to hand and shuffle. Next we play four of the, the key card, one of the key cards, the Earth Cluster Demonic Rock Palm. If you have a dual golem on the field, monster on the field, I can equip this without paying the co equip cost, but it's normal equip is pay three, and then during your turn when a dual golem monster is destroyed, uh, draw a card. And seven, three, uh, seven with three crit. Next we play three Rock Crushing Style High Blood Quake. In all cast, if you have no monster on your center and you have a dual golem on your field, pay two, deal two to your opponent, you can pay additional gates to deal additional two damage. As you play three, this Demon Slate Battle or Bond, you pay a life and rest a card on your opponent's field with critical less than or equal to the critical of the item on your field. So rest like bots or uh, Lava, Lava, Lava Flame, what's his name, Lava Flame? What's the dude, Lava Flame, is that his name? The... The Thunder Empire card, the lava, the thing that kills itself to call another card. River Pain. River Pain, there you go, River Pain. Rest River Pain, so you can't do like multiple double attack. Next, we play three of the Battle Over Circle, which you can notify the attack as long as you don't have a monster in your center. Next, you play four Stone Purge. You can only cast this if you have a dual golem monster on the field, or dual golem attribute on the field, notify the attack, and then gain a gauge. Next, we play four. One of the best spells I think on the deck is which is where the souls fused. 
You may only cast a card if you have a dual golem attribute. Gain a gauge and, and put a dual golem monster in, or item from the drop zone into your hand. So I need uh, uh, next I play two super strength replenishment, you pay a life, gain three gauge. And now we play three rage and chain strikes, which can only because you don't have a monster in so you choose a monster on your field and give it uh, give it double attack. So you can give your dual golem double attack, which is six crit coming at you twice. Next we play three uh First D, the calling ritual, you pay a gauge, pay a life, draw a card, then if you have a weapon equipped, you draw another one, so it's basically a draw two spell. And next, play three ground alpha, kind of like as if you have a dual golem on your field, draw a card and put the number of cards deck to the gauge equal to the number of dual golem. So, the mechanic of this deck is really good. The only thing I, I have trouble with is that if they have a way to rest your cards, then you just are... Then they can just mess up your place because all your cards have to blow up. So, because ideally you want to have dual golem or dual golem, a zero and a one, or a one or a zero, a two zeros or whatever. But if they rest it before you attack, then they you can't blow it up to, and then you lose an attack from your idol. So it kind of messes up the flow. But um, that's about it for this deck profile. Um, coming at you later uh, with a few more deck profiles this week. And as always, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. I don't need to